Well, hello. This is probably something you weren't quite expecting. I wasn't expecting it. And who knows, this might not... If you're, if you're hearing this right now, then that means that I went with my first recording of this tutorial. Um, because TBH, I, uh, wasn't so sure about doing this, and I'm still not so sure because I don't remember everything about this job. So that's kind of a problem. So I've got the wiki open myself, which I advise that you're going to be doing this uh, when you're learning this job. You need the wiki. Even with my guidance. So geneticists are technically in charge of this area right here, which is cloning. Uh, you probably never actually do anything in here because typically the medical doctors uh, end up doing this. But if you would like to be useful, if you would like to set up cloning, just technically your department. Why can't I? Why can I not pull you? I don't understand. Why you why you not let me pull you, canister? What the heck? What the heck? Is it is it bolted down? Why is it bolted down? Oh yeah, it was. So you want to wait. I'm dumb. It doesn't need to be moved. That's a terrific start to this tutorial. To be, to be fair, you know, I'm a little, you know, not, but you want this, you want us to go all the way down, you want to turn it on. So that cools the junk in here, helps mm, heal them. I don't know if there's an actual temperature you want it to be at, but I always just lower it all the way. <laughs> at least on TG, that's what I did as a medical doctor. Uh, whether that's... Oh, by the way, should preface this. This is Paradise Genetics. It's Paradise Genetics because I swore to know how to do it. For some reason I thought Paradise changed their genetic system, which I think they did at one point, but they must have switched it back to the way it used to be, with a few little new nuances. Um, but anyway, this is the cloner. Pretty sure I went over the cloner in my, uh, in my uh, medical doctor tutorial for TG, but Cloud Cloner, if you've got someone in here click scan and assuming they're available to be cloned you're probably gonna want to click scan a few times just to alert the dead player that they're trying to be cloned you go to records their records will pop up here and you can click clone and so on and so forth and you can scan people ahead of time just to store them in the records if you want to do that thing with paradise uh, cloning is it requires biomass so you shove meat and stuff into this thing, and if uh, you want, you can go say, tell chemistry to start making a bunch of synth meat, which is uh, easy enough to do. Um, but, to the meat of this thing, we're going to be focusing on uh, this area, which is where you genetically modify things. And uh, I'll be putting some stuff up on the screen throughout, probably. Just because this is the kind of tutorial that's gonna be kind of complex. So I'll probably like put some stuff up on screen. Uh, I don't know if this is gonna be a great tutorial. Like I said, I'm sort of, I'm gonna like teach you basics. And I think from what I'm gonna teach you, you'll be able to figure out the rest on your own with the aid of the wiki. I seriously don't advise uh, trying this job without the wiki open. <laughs> but you've got uh, cube boxes here of every type, every species. We're just gonna grab monkeys. 
Gonna put this monkey cube in the sink. Gonna grab the monkey. And we're going to shove him in here. Or over here. It just depends on where you want uh, him to be. I would also advise getting a breaker and maybe going, what's in here? Just, okay, it's just clothes and shit. <clears throat> if you want, you can get it from here, but oh, I'd take some, some charcoal. You can also get a bottle from here. You want I keep like I keep forgetting that in paradise you can you just like splash things if you don't uh, if you accidentally click with something open in your hand I dislike that take this beaker full of charcoal and just stick it in here that's gonna help lower the toxins of uh, our test subject realistically you want something that lowers radiation but you're probably not going to have that in chemistry starting off so go ahead grab one of these discs just shove it in there do that later okay now to the complex stuff sort of oh boy here we go so modify ui this probably looks confusing as shit. Um, it's not super confusing. We're not gonna be messing with UI in this, but I will tell you what it does. I'll put up on the side, hopefully over here, you should be saying it. These are uni unique identifiers, which basically change everything from a subject's hair color to if they have a tail, a beard, stuff like that, what their gender is, and all of that crap. So, we're really not going to mess with this stuff. You can if you want to experiment, you know, whatever you want to do. This is our main thing we're going to be messing with, because this is what gives people disabilities and powers, which we will focus on. Transfer buffers, I'll show you what this does in a, in a bit, because it's not like ready to be shown. Rejuvenators, you're going to see the beaker that we put in um, of charcoal, and what you can do from the rejuvenator screen. You can see up here the health of your subject, and how much radiation is in them. The radiation gives toxin damage, which is why I put charcoal in there, and you can choose how much of the stuff you want to inject. So onto this. Our first task is to um, turn this monkey that's in here into a human. To do that, we have to take this block 55 and this is always the same it's always block 55 we need to get this number to be below 800 so you're probably like 800 but there's an e and a b in there well this goes off the hexadecimal system so you've got zero through f which i'll put up on the screen so you can see it's like seven eight nine a b c d e f if you want to like envision it in your head you can just say a is 10 b is 11 you know c the most important thing is you just know you know that the letters are higher than uh zero through nine and uh yeah so is that yeah that's right for some reason, I thought F was lower than A. That's not what it shows on this. Anyway, so you'll see this is E, B, 4. So all we have to do is select this E right here and get this to a 7 or lower. That's all we have to do. So, as you can see, we've got 
these settings down here which honestly I just fool around with as we're going but we want to click irradiate block and you'll see that'll change hey it went to one right away that's great because now if you go over to here and eject it you'll see that it's a human now and not a monkey anymore so that's what block 55 does if it's a number lower than 800 they're a human if it's above 800 they they're an animal so hopefully you understand that like i said this is a hard tutorial for me to do i don't uh i'm hoping and conveying this uh well but anyway so this is a pure human being in here human being um <laughs> So what we want to do with him, we're gonna go over to transfer buffers. And what we wanna do is under this load data thing, we want the subject SE. And what you can do is save this to the disk and as well create an injector. Now what this is gonna do is this is a cure-all basically if if you end up getting disabilities from your experiments, you inject that and you'll be fine. Everything will go back to zero, basically. You're not going to have any of your powers that you may have gotten or disabilities. And that's also useful um, for, like, if crews have, uh, or if any of the crew ends up with genetic disabilities after cloning, for instance, uh, you're able to inject that into them and it'll... Uh, help so you can go ahead and inject that if you want and you can rename these uh i don't remember how <laughs> pretty sure you just use a pen on it uh let me let me see remove pen okay maybe not i know there's a way you probably rename it in the uh thing actually okay Again, sorry if this tutorial seems a little sporadic, but it's just that's just how it's gonna be <laughs> for now. I may, you know, if this ends up not being good enough, I might make a different one. But anyway, trying to explain this as best as we can. So that'll stay in there. Which you should leave in buffer one. You should leave the clean SE. So, this is where you're going to probably want to look at the wiki. And it's something that I can't really uh, put up on this. Well, maybe I'll be able to. Um, first of all, there's something called instability. Which uh, powers give you genetic instability whereas disabilities lower your uh, instability so if you want to be an all-powerful being you have to give yourself some disabilities because otherwise if you get your instability too high you end up fucking dying basically <laughs> uh, which on the wiki it will show you uh, what powers and what disabilities give like however much instability basically if you end up um, going above 40 instability you're gonna start having real issues and above 70 you're fucking like a goner uh, let's see here so We need to... Hold on. Just a minute. Okay. So. There are some empty blocks in here. Which means they're not gonna do anything at all. They're not going to give you disabilities or powers. Here's the thing. Minor powers and disabilities both activate 
if the block is above 800 or if it's at 802 or higher. So the first thing I do, let's just start with one. We're going to irradiate it. We're going to try and get it above 802. That one didn't do anything. As you can see up here, the health health is going down as the radiation goes up. So hey, we've got it above 802, which means if this block is a disability, it will have uh, formed. If it's a minor power, it will also have formed. So what we want to do, go to buffer two, subject SE again, you have to click this subject SE every time you make a change to the blocks in here because it remembers the old. So instead of a full injector, which we did up here, you want a block injector. And since we edited one, we click one. So what this is going to do is this will only change block one in our body. And we'll be able to see I just test on myself um, you might not want to do that also whenever you inject yourself with this stuff it gives you some mild radiation so we injected it it didn't do anything you'll be able to tell if it did something well obviously if something makes you blind you're gonna notice right away but whenever there's a bad thing that happens to you, it'll show up in red text under this. And if it's a good thing, it should be green, I believe. Some disabilities and powers are neutral. The, for instance, some disabilities that are neutral uh, just change the way you speak, for instance. Thing is, they don't affect your instability, so they're not going to help you. So only the disabilities that actually do something to you are going to help your lower your instability. And that goes for powers too. Some powers are neutral. Not many. There's only a couple. Uh, there's way more neutral disabilities than there are uh, powers. But uh, neutral powers don't add to your instability, for instance. Okay. So... What we learned from injecting that is that block one is either nothing or uh, it's either nothing, it's not a disability, but it could also be an intermediate power or a major power. So for intermediate powers to activate, you have to have a B, E, A or higher. So the tough one about that is the E, which is in the middle. So I might be fast forwarding to a point where I've gotten this because this can take a while. And again, I don't, I am sure there are settings here that can help speed it up. I know the more intense it is, the more likely it's going to change at the very least, but you're gonna kill your uh, subject much faster basically. So, let's uh, go ahead and try and get this to a B or higher. I just realized that that was a C and that would have worked. I'm dumb. So, like I said, there's no. <laughs> this is gonna take a while. And as you can see, I'm really irradiating the shit out of him right now. Alright, we got a B. Now, let's get this to an E. Hey, it's an F. That's the highest one. So that's above a E now. So now all we need is this to get to an A. Do, do, do. So if you're uh, while you're waiting, oh, we already we already did it. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go ahead and pump 
some rejuvenation into him because his health is declining very quickly. I'm gonna put 20 units of charcoal in and that's gonna, you'll see his health go up. All right, so we've got one to the threshold of intermediate powers. So what we're gonna, oh, he's coughing. That's not good. Maybe I'm wrong about when disabilities can, I can't, I'm pretty sure I'm not wrong. So click this block injector. I swear to God, the thing's lagging. Even though I'm on a <laughs> private server. Server. All right. So let's see here. Let's go ahead and inject ourselves with this one now. I've got an empty syringe in my hand, which is why I can't pick it up. Inject. All right. Didn't do anything. And as you can see, we're starting to get uh, starting to get hurt a bit. Uh, one reason why the monkey's probably coughing is when you're irradiating blocks, other blocks can change while you're doing it. So we're going to go and grab ourselves just a, just a pill. Take that. That should help the toxins. Uh, so, block one, unfortunately, does not have a uh, intermediate power in it either which means it's either got a major power in it or it's nothing. Hopefully it's not nothing. So for major powers, you need a D, an A, and a C. Thankfully, we've already got a C there and we've got something that's above an A right there. So we're good there. So now all we have to do is get this B to a D or above, which shouldn't be too difficult. But we'll see. Maybe lower the radiation a bit because we're really fucking him over right now. <clears throat> there we go. All right. DFC, that's above DAC. So, I'm gonna pump some more rejuvenation into him. I'm pretty sure the coughing is a disability, which has developed in him from all the radiation. I don't think that's just from like radiation poisoning, though I could be wrong about that. So what we want to do here, should have been clearing that instead of just clicking it over and over again, but lesson learned. Clear it before you start clicking it. So block injector. DFC, let's see if we get anything out of this. Inject, hey, there we go. We have a power now. So this is, your leg muscles feel taut and strong. We can now jump. <laughs> and I have jumped onto glass table and injured myself. Uh, so, yeah, you can just jump great distances. So, hey, that's a major power. Let me look at the wick jumpy. So this power has given us a plus five to our instability. So not too bad. It's not a super useful power, but you know, it's, it, it could be, it could be. So there you have it. That's how you find powers. And um, realistically, you just fucking do that for the remaining 54 blocks. You just go up, you check for minor powers or disabilities, then you check for intermediate powers, then you check for major powers. It's important for me to mention maybe that if a block has a disability or a minor power, that does not mean, it means that that's all that block is. It can, you cannot raise it up to one of the higher levels to see if it also has a power. The block is just one thing. So, I honestly think you can probably figure it out now. Um, yeah, I mean, this pulse radiation thing down here that like randomizes it, whereas 
irradiate block targets it, I think. That makes any sense at all. But now that we've made a power out of one, we can go to transfer buffers and we've already got it loaded down here. We can save this. Oh, here's how you label it. Uh, jumpy power. Click that, save to disk. And now eject the disk and you've got this now, which will, uh, Unfortunately, it doesn't label it outside of the machine, but you've got that and you can also, I believe, if you choose a block injector, it should call it jumpy power now. Yeah. So you've got this, you've got this syringe that's jumpy power and like I said, you just do that exact same thing for all of them. If you have a geneticist co-worker, you typically talk to them and say they'll like work on 54 and up and you'll start from one and go this way that lessens your workload and honestly i think i've covered it as best as i'm going to be able to again ui is all just like appearance stuff this is the like neat cool like powers and stuff and I would go through and show you more powers and shit, but it would take a while. <laughs> but just do what I did for that first block to all those blocks, and that's really all there is to it. You'll be a super powered god in no time. And yeah. So uh, now that my job is done here, it's time to. Uh, time to become what I've always wanted to become you know I mean really just live my life as one of my great ancestors did I'll see you guys next time Woo!